If you still design with your smartphone in 2025, then this video is for you. Now, it doesn't matter whether you use Pixel App to design or Canva, it doesn't even matter at all, or whatever tool you use to design on your smartphone. It doesn't also matter whether you are watching this video in 2026 or whatever year you are watching this video. The point is, if you are still designing with your smartphone right now and you are watching me, then this video is for you. You might want to hesitate a bit before skipping or before closing this video. Now, so that you will get the points I will be making in this video, I'm going to share with you a bit of my journey designing. Don't worry, this video is not going to be too long. I have my timer here with me and it's set. And, and that is because that there are so many things I could share, but I do not want this video to get too long and bore you, right? But I want you to stick around and stay with me within this short period that we'll be spending together. All right, so stick around and stay with me. I have something to share with you that is going to completely change your game if you'll be patient enough to listen. Now, I started designing. I started my design journey, the design journey that has led here, that, that has even led me to creating this channel because every single thing about this channel would never be the old money, the brand deals, the impact that this channel has probably made on your life would never have been in the picture if i didn't start if not for the journey that started in february of 2021 that was when i started my design journey and you need to understand that i was using a very terrible phone that my sister had used for about four years before handing it over to me i was using a, a used phone and um the phone could barely stay for two hours before it died, right? And you need to understand that before this, there are series of experiences I've had with different phones that were not new. But don't worry, I'm going to save you um, from all of those gist, right? Because they are not necessary um, as touching the points I'm trying to make with this video. If you are interested in knowing the gist, you can let me know in the comment section. But then I started my design journey with that phone in February of 2021. A year after, I got my first PC. I got my first PC, which was HP Elidebook H4 TG3 in June, in August of 2022. This was one year and about five months after I started my design journey. Two years after I got this PC, two years after would be last year, um, that is two years after 2022, I got this particular PC and this PC is a beast. This PC is HP ZBook, I think um, G5, Studio G5, right? Um, a workstation PC. Trust me, the specs of this PC is a beast. I mean, I'm going to talk about that in another video where I would be sharing with you um, things to look out for before buying a PC as a designer. But then the point I'm trying to make with this video is this. I started my design journey in 2021 with a smartphone. And this is 2025. Now I have a pad. Now I have two PCs. And this would never have been the case if I did not start with a smartphone. If I did not continue and keep building with my smartphone. And one thing you need to understand is even as someone that designs now with two, that, that has two pieces now, and then I design with Photoshop, I use all of the amazing tools, Illustrator and all of that. I'm still working on learning Figma and just having access to all of these crazy tools that a lot of people believe that if you, can, if you don't use as a designer, you are not professional. I would never be able to handle the tools the way I handle them now if I did not start with smartphone or if I did not leverage on the smartphone I had in 2021 because there was no way I would get a PC 
ass at that time, at least not on my own. But then I got my, my first PC on my own or with my own funds. I got my second PC on my own. I got my pad on my own, right? With my funds, with the funds that I made, mostly from designing. So one thing you need to understand is the smartphone you are using right now, you should not undervalue yourself just because you are using a smartphone to design. A lot of people will say that, okay, because you don't use Photoshop, you are not a professional designer. But that's a lie because what makes you a professional designer is not primarily about the tool you use. It's about the kind of designer that you are. And that is not dependent on a tool necessarily. At least primarily, it is not dependent on a tool. I create amazing designs with smart, uh, with PC now. I, have, I create designs for clients all over the world just recently i signed a deal with a particular company with an agency and this is like the biggest job i've ever gotten in my career as a designer it, it, it's a whole lot right and the only reason why that is possible is because i started my design journey with smartphone because if i did not start at the time maybe i would never have started maybe even if i started i would not have grown to this point as at this time so do not underrate yourself or do not uh, undervalue yourself just because you design with smartphone understand that you are still a designer and i'm putting this out because a lot of times even when i was designing with smartphone you would hear a lot of it a lot of people saying that oh just that if you are using smartphone to design um you are not a professional designer until you start using PC. Meanwhile, I eventually coached a lot of people that had PC and started designing with PC. A particular guy reached out to me, I think in 2023, and he was telling me that he sees my designs and his designs inspire him so much. This was 2023. And he was telling me that he had started designing about four years before then. He had been designing for about four years with PC, with Photoshop, with CorelDRAW. He was in shock when he realized that I use smartphone to design. Hmm? He was literally in shock. And I've I've gotten a lot of people comment about my work. And when, when they eventually realize that I use smartphone, they are in shock. I mean, I'm talking about in the past now. They are in shock. Even till now, I still use Pixel Lab, right? I mean, I had to post using Pixel Lab earlier in the year because I switched from Android to an iPhone. And Pixel Lab does not really work on iPhones, right? But now I have an Android pad and I'm going to continue designing with pixel lab in fact i'm going to now resume putting out um tutorials around pixel lab design on this channel what i want you to get from this video is the fact that just because you are not using pc just because you are not using photoshop just because you are using canva just because you are using um, pixel lab on a smartphone to design does not make you less of a designer so do not see yourself as someone that is that is less of a designer just because of the tool you are using now, I will also balance it with this. Do not become too comfortable with designing with smartphone that even when you now have opportunity to um, to upgrade your, your, your tools, you now say, okay, let me ignore getting a PC just because I now design with smartphone, just because I get clients that are not bothered with me using smartphone or not. I mean, that would not be nice. I am someone that preach growth a lot. If you listen to me and you stay with me close enough, you would realize that I always preach growth. The reason why one year after I started designing, even when I was still designing with my smartphone, I got a PC was because I wanted to grow. I knew that I did not want to continue with just smartphone. I wanted to upgrade my tool. It doesn't mean that I will stop using smartphone to design, but it means that now I want to learn additional tools. And that is why even to now that I use Photoshop so well, I use Illustrator and all of that. Now I'm still working on learning other design tools, uh, other design tools like Adobe InDesign, figma and all of that just to upgrade my skill as a designer so learning never ends and so even if you now design with smartphone now you understand that just because you design with smartphone does not make you less of a designer at the same time you should not become so comfortable and complacent at using the smartphone that you now feel like okay there's no need to get a pc there's no need to upgrade whenever you have the opportunity to upgrade to your pc do not 
let go of that opportunity get a pc right get a pc and then upgrade it doesn't mean you should stop using your piece um your smartphone to design it means that you now need to learn additional tools and upgrade your skill set growth is part of the game so just because you are using smartphones as a designer does not make you less of a designer it doesn't make you it doesn't necessarily mean you will not be you are not a professional designer i wanted to really get that it doesn't make you less of a designer. It doesn't make you less of a designer who uses Photoshop. In fact, with your smartphone, you can work on yourself, build your build your skill as a designer to a point where you create better designs than even people that use Photoshop, than even some people that use photoshop because there are a lot of people that use photoshop that don't still understand design they don't understand the principles of design they don't understand how to use visual elements they don't understand how the, how design works basically right but even with your smartphone you can create amazing designs i have trained a lot of students a whole lot of students hundreds of students who are now doing so well and create great designs with their smartphone or who at least were creating great designs with their smartphone before they upgraded to pc to photoshop and all of that so just because you are designing with your with with Smartphone does not make you less of a designer, but at the same time, pursue growth. And whenever you have the opportunity to upgrade to um, better tools like Photoshop, so that you can actually um, do better or increase, um, um, so that you can actually unleash more of your creativity because bigger tools like Photoshop will give you more opportunity to explore different functionalities that will help you create better designs, right? But then just because you don't have access to those tools now, do not make you less of a designer. You can take advantage of the tools you have and then maximize it, use it to make money and then upgrade your tool. That is how it works. But at the same time, even though it doesn't make you less of a designer, do not stay too long on that side of the mountain. Always chase growth and always keep growing. Even my, my, my PC now, as much as I say it's a beast, by next year, I might change it again, right? Because... I need to get better tools that will help me function better. Let me know if this video will help you. Bless you in the comment section. Um, I will read and then I would reply. But just drop the comments and then like this video if you haven't done that already. If you are new to this channel, do subscribe because I'll be dropping really amazing content going forward, mostly around design that I believe is going to really bless you and uh, really going to help your life stay tuned and i will see you in my next video